Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics. Look at this adorable pillow from Kimberbell Designs. This is called Hoppy Easter. It's adorable. If you've been quilting for any time at all, I'm sure you've heard of Kimberbell. Kim is one of the most talented, awesome designers in our industry today, and we love Kimberbell Designs. So when I saw this one at Quilt Market, I said, I have to make a kit for our customers. I know they will love it. So let me talk to you about the kits. Of course, limited availability, as there always seems to be, just due to fabric availability, right? Fabrics come in and fabrics go out. Anything you see that's applique, including this awesome glitter fabric, that is so cool, will be already laser cut for you, and it's fusible. You'll just iron that down to the back. So your kit will include all of your background fabrics. Of course, it'll of course come with the original Kimberbell pattern. We've used different fabrics than Kim did, so we'll have a sheet for you letting you know what fabrics go where. You'll have all of your background fabrics, all of your applique will be prefused and laser cut for you, and this awesome ribbon that is again a Kimberbell ribbon assortment will be included so you can make these three-dimensional carrot tops absolutely adorable. Embroidery floss will be included as well. There's a little bit of embroidery and this is actually done with embroidery floss too, kind of the, the wing, the fluff on the chick's wings will be included in your kit as well as fabric for an envelope backing. So it's a great value. And there's a couple add-ons I'll talk to you about. Thread would be one of them. We have these pretty Easter colors. The first four out of the six are the colors to be stitching down your shapes. So you've got the yellow for the chick, you know, blue is going to be for your eggs, pink for your eggs, and a cream. In addition to that, we have this beautiful uh, metallic copper for our carrots. And we also have this sparkly, it's very shimmer, it's like a pearly, shimmery, iridescent. And that's going to be for various parts of the pillow as well. This particular egg has an iridescent finish to it, so that's for that. Anytime you're using the metallic thread, we recommend using the thread director. It helps the thread come off the spool in the proper orientation to reduce the likelihood of breakage. So that's why we use the thread director. What else is on the table with me here? Um, are just some of the tools that we use. We always like to tell you what we use to create the finished sample. We made this right here at Shabby Fabrics. So I like to just be transparent about what we use so you know maybe you already have these things in your sewing room or something else that would suffice, or maybe you don't have that. So that's why we like to let you know. Never any pressure to buy, but again, just full disclosure. A couple rulers, of course, a standard ruler just to cut your pieces out. And then as you work into incrementally smaller pieces of the pillow, we used a four and a half inch square up ruler for our pinwheels that are seen in various parts of the pillow. Um, any smaller rulers really work well because you are working with some smaller sections of our pillow. Uh, we of course use a nice sharp a Schmetz uh, size 80 super non-stick needle because we were going through a lot of fusible webbing, including our specialty um, metallic fabrics for the eggs and for our carrots. So I readily make sure you're getting the super non-stick needles because it's less likely to, to get gummed up on your needle. It's specifically meant for fusible webbing. Since we will be marking a little bit of where our whiskers are in the legs, we love to use our friction pen. We love to pre-mark where those lines go so that we can follow that line and get a nice straight line wherever we are going to do our stitching. The embroidery floss will be included, but you'll need to be sure to pick up some hand embroidery needles. These are just, these are the Richard Hemming needles, are just a couple dollars. You've got about 12 needles in the pack. This is gonna last you a long time. And um, so you'll wanna pick those up as well. If you have any problem threading those needles, you can pick up the Clover Needle Threader. That's always helpful to have on hand anytime you have difficulty really threading a needle. Um, scissors, of course, we love our Kai's. And there is a lot of piecing on here. There's a lot of cutting of precise sizes. So if you haven't treated yourself to a nice sharp rotary blade, maybe a fresh rotary cutter, of course we have that available. And anytime there's piecing or 
you're trying to get your points specific, be sure to grab some fresh patchwork pins. I know as I use my pins project over project, they can get bent. Um, so you know what, you're worth that. Your quilting is your, probably your, one of your favorite, if not your favorite, most favorite hobbies. So go ahead and treat yourself to some patchwork pins as well. So that pretty much covers what we've used as the ingredients for that. If you would like to be able to use a light box to, to be able to mark those lines, especially if you're gonna be marking on a darker fabric, having a light box available can be invaluable. And that's really for any project. Anytime you wanna trace anything, I go to a light box. A nice pressing mat that's small and handy is great to have on hand, and that's our wool pressing mat as well. Um, I love just the portability of this iron. It doesn't have the cord. It kind of sits in the cradle, heats there, and then I don't have to worry about dragging the cord across my project in any way at all. But I just think Kimberbell, you know, has just outdone themselves. Easter is one of my favorite times of the year. I love the colors, and I just love how whimsical and fun Kim adds to all of her amazing projects. So be sure to pick up your kit, get these made. If you can't get it done for this Easter, Easter's gonna come again, and I know the little ones in your family will absolutely adore seeing this pillow as well as other guests. So be sure to pick up the kits. I'll see you on a future Shabby Fabrics video.